Welcome back, this is Velrazor once again playing the Thunder Chad. Well, not really the Thunder Chad. Well, it's the Thunder Chad. Essentially, we're using a spell, a Thunder spell that we can get from all the dragon bosses. Uh, I never. I try to use Placidia Sex's Ruin. I try to enjoy it. But I'm gonna say this for an end game boss, like a super boss at the end of the game, that is the worst spell ever created. Are they just punishing magic users for enjoying the, trying to enjoy spells? That is the worst attack I've ever seen in my life. Maybe I was just using it wrong. This needs to be set up as like a uh, a dragon spell build and not like a thunder build. I figured it was gonna shoot out a, a thunder blade, just like the Sidious X. No, they could do, could they have given you the thunder nuke that everyone would have loved to have? That would have been awesome. But no, they give you. Thunders plus Sidious Sex is just his head rarely pops out and he's like, hey guys, what's going on? Uh, anyway, a spell that is not a letdown is Ancient Dragon Lightning Strike. Delicious bread and butter. Sometimes it works for the little bosses, but they kind of dance around it. Uh, we need to destroy a big boss quickly. Look at that! And he jumps back into it. It hits him, and it jumps into it and hits it again. That happens a couple of times in this wonderful story. And if you're enjoying my wonderful, uh, AK maybe decent storytelling, give me a like and subscribe. Elden Ring is not the only game I play, uh, just the one I got kind of sucked up into the last month or so. Uh, funny story is I'm fighting the bosses, I'm trying to get through the, the, er, the battle of the shadow or the Ur tree. There we go. I know how to speak. If you don't tell, I don't make a script. So I'm kind of all over the place today. Anyway, I'm fighting the uh, Shadow of the Earth Tree, and it's just not going well. I got to the point where I defeated Mesmer, I'm fighting that stupid Sunflower, and it's just... I'm just stuck. I don't know where to go, I can't defeat that stupid Sunflower, and I'm just getting extremely frustrated because I've respect twice already, and I just don't feel like I'm making any progress. Uh, speaking of when you're feeling like you're not making any progress, when a door closes, a window opens, or something. Who knows what they're trying to say, but anyway. Uh, I was kind of in a spunk, so I destroyed the Dragon Grail for some extra easy runes. And then victim number two is the Putrid Avatar. Uh, I remember fighting this guy at, at the beginning of the game, and he would just annihilate me every time. I had no chance to defeat him. Now I can defeat him fairly easily. Granted, this is new game plus, I mean, you got a new game plus stats. But, uh, but if you can just kind of, if you get good at dodging him, that's like half the bosses in the game, because they have so many repeat bosses. It makes sense as to why they have repeat bosses. I'm not complaining. I am complaining about it, just because there's like, what, six putrid avatars and like 12 normal ones, and the Ur-Tree avatars are protecting the Ur-Tree, the younger minor ones. I get it, it makes sense, I just, I kind of wish they had different more variations. And here we are, destroying the Elder Dragon Grail, and essentially what you have to do is you either have to kill the Mother Dragon, which she does a lot of damage, or she doesn't do a lot of damage, she has a lot of damage, she doesn't do anything, she just sits there and sleeps as you tickle her taint. And I'm like a boss behind explaining things with any hoozies. Uh, if you kill her little sickly underlings, they go down fairly quickly. You gotta kill like five of them, I believe, and you get easy couple hundred thousand experience. Just just soak it up and take it. Here we are fighting Commander O'Neill. Uh, trying to use the weapon a little bit. I'm only using the weapon because of his weapon art is uh, the Thunder Procedure Sex is like the Thunder Cloud, the Thunder Cloud form. Very cool looking attack. A lot of times it just power stances through the enemies, and look at that. I just love how it looks. That is an endgame boss weapon. The other spell that carries my ass is Ancient Dragon's Lightning Strike. Seven, almost 18,000 damage on New Game Plus, and I literally run into his poison attack. <laughs> like, I don't know how stupid you have to be to do that, but guess what? I kill him anyway. I did another 18,000 damage. I hit him, I two shot at him. Two shot at him, and I died. Guess what? A victory is a victory. I got the runes for it. It doesn't matter. And 
I realized too that Ancient Dragon's Lightning Strike is A, really fun to say, and B, extremely overpowered in a lot of fights. Uh, the only bad thing about it is it takes a hot minute for it to uh, cast off. So if you just sit there and try and cast it in the face of a boss, probably not going to want to do that. Um, I overall, I try to use all the thunder spells throughout the game. Uh, Land Sexes, Glaive, the uh, Frost, Lightning Bolt, I think that's what it's called, I don't know what it's called. I use the, I stop using Procedure Sexes, Fire Breath, because it's just, yes, it's from a dragon, but it's a really shitty attack. Uh, with the Frozen Lightning Spear, uh, it's, it sometimes the hitboxes are just a little janky. I noticed that too with a lot of the Thunder attacks. Sometimes it'll sit there and do a shitload of damage. Like I just did 4,000 damage with them and it can kind of pulses in the spot, but then it shoots forward. So the bigger the boss, the more it's going to get hit. And later on the game when we go against some really big bosses, we get some really big damage. Um, but like right here, 3,000. And it's just kind of, it, it's doing a lot of damage. It's causing the pain train and it's doing its job, but it's kind of weird. I just like how it looks, honestly. And uh, with all the other lightning attacks, lightning spear, which I was a little disappointed with, uh, just due to the fact that, look at that, got a double strike on him. Uh, with the lightning spear, it's actually, it flies through the air fairly slowly, and it gets dodged pretty regularly. I was getting really upset by how easy things are dodging it. Here we are fighting the Gloomstone Dragon Smorog to get my key for the, hmm, I can't even remember the city. Uh, well, anyway, we're gonna get the key. Oh, for the academy. There we go. Rhea Lucaria Academy. Uh, here, I actually had a little bit more trouble than I thought I was going to. Because uh, I think it was a two cycle. I tried to do one cycler, but. Oh no, it was a one cycle. I'm getting my attacks, I'm getting my battles mixed up. There was one time I had so much trouble with her. It took me like four cycles of slapping her little kids' faces in. But I think that was a magic attack when that was kind of a pain in the ass. Well, any whoosies, we're going back to the spamming lightning spear. She's just constantly spamming attacks. If you're wondering what armor I'm using, it's the Ronin set. If you kill Yuri at the end of the game by the uh, fire giant. Uh, well, it's not really Yuri anymore. It's the guy who sits there and, uh, what, the, the chaos guy? The chaos god guy? And why the hell did I use that attack? I should have used literally anything else. Anyway, we literally spent like a minute trying to figure out how to attack her, and we just ended up stabbing her in the chest. Uh, I tried to use the sword of the... what was it? The, uh, I forget what it's even called. But it's like a spear, it's extremely long, it's a thrusting weapon. I'm not a huge fan of it, but I also didn't really put any dexterity investment. Uh, just besides the basic stats to equip it. So it didn't really do much damage. Uh, I'm sure it had potential for it, but I didn't really care for it either. And the Ancient Dragon's Lightning Spear, I think I ended up replacing with uh, Forter Sexes. It just, it's the same thing, it just does two separate attacks. And then it's just better overall. But the one thing I did notice with the Thundercloud form, when it hits, it really hits. And you can hit like a, if you get like a two cycle hit where it hits with the lightning form and then it hits with like the spear. Here we are trying to give uh, Placidus Sex's lightning breath another attempt, but I realized it wasn't his lightning breath. Well, he doesn't have a lightning breath. It was the uh, super mega laser, which was a complete letdown. I had, I had such high hope for it, but it just never came. Anyway, we came back with lightning dragon strike or whatever it's called. We sucked his ass in, actually he sucked my ass in, and then we have to go in and mercy kill Leonard. That's why I fight Radon, not to fight him, but just to help his damn horse out. Alright, and we come back in, oh he does his little dragon attack, blah blah blah, here we go, and go for the kill, and that's not the coolest look ending, but I'm not the coolest guy in the world. Thanks so much for watching, liking, and subscribing, I'll see you around for the next one.